Hi guys, welcome back to the wood turning section of my YouTube channel. I'm glad you could join me. Right, let's say you've turned some wet wood. You've wrapped it up in your brown paper, you've put it to dry. Six months later you come, you have a look at it, all hopeful. You take the paper off and oh no! There's a crack in it. It's cracked. Well, first of all, what I'll say to you is use the uh, the washing up liquid gunk I told you about in a previous video. Three quarters washing up liquid. Start again. Three quarters washing up liquid, a quarter water, and a touch of um, bleach. Just a, a little touch of bleach stops the bugs forming. Um, stops it smelling and that uh, basically you soak your, your wet wood turnings in that your roughed out bowls overnight or up to a week depending on how dense the wood is and it uh, it will cut down on cracks vastly it sounds really stupid washing up liquid you know, soaking your roughed out bowls in washing up with liquid will stop cracks, but it does. I've been using it for over nine years now, and it works. The theory is the uh, the washing up liquid gets drawn into the cell structure of the uh, of the wood. Then, when it starts to dry, the cells cannot collapse fully because they've got washing up liquid in them. So therefore, if the cells cannot c collapse uh, completely, you know, you, you're going to get less cracks. There's less stress in the wood. Right, but if you do get cracks, let's get back to what I started off with. God, I don't have waffle on sometimes. If you do get cracks, guys, don't panic. You know, I watch other people's wood, wood turning videos and uh, they start pulling their hair out, literally. If they get a crack whilst there's whilst the uh, the bowl's been drying, it's no big deal. Do you know what I do? If I get a crack whilst my uh, bowl's drying, I'll think to myself, well, I'll make a feature out of that. Now, how would you make a feature out of it? Well, there are, come back in focus. How do you make a feature out of it? Well, there are several ways. Number one, you could get a Dremel, you know, a rotary tool, and you could have a good old work at the crack, open it out a little bit. Then you could get a pyrography tool, a wood burner, and burn the edges and make it look like a natural fissure or an inclusion. Or you could uh, get yourself some of this, brass powder um, I use several different types of powder there's brass uh, I use copper I use bronze and I use aluminium powder uh, depending on the uh, the color of the wood it depends on which uh, powder I use um, copper can look stunning in certain woods in elm copper looks stunning but basically, you empty some of this into into the crack, and then dribble super glue in there. Couple as hour, a couple of hours later, come back and it will be as hard as rock. You can turn it with your turning tools, no problem. It ain't going to damage them in any way, and it makes that crack into uh, something, you know, from a negative into into a positive. It it makes that that crack into uh, into summer that actually adds to the to the bowl or adds to the wood turning oh look at my hand wow yeah but there you go guys don't panic over cracks cracks the nothing you know if if your bowl's cracked big deal as long as it hasn't fallen as long as the bowl hasn't fallen in two I mean, if, if your bowl's cracked that much that it falls in two, then fair enough, be upset. But if it's just a little crack, 
fill it in with brass powder or copper powder, a little bit of super glue from the pound shop by the way, dribble it in, a couple of hours later it's hard as rock and it's a feature. It's gone from a negative to a positive. Right, that was just another hints and tip. Hints and tips even. Right, another short one. I'll let you get off. Take care in those workshops and I'll catch you later. Bye bye now.